Microsoft Office OneNote is different than other Microsoft Office programs in many ways. Where applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are based on a single document file, OneNote is centered around notebooks and sections. Before jumping into OneNote, it's a good idea to understand this type of structure. First, a bit about notebooks. Notebooks are actually just folders that contain sections, which are files. By default, notebook folders are stored in a folder called OneNote Notebooks under My Documents on Windows XP or Documents in Windows Vista. OneNote initially opens three notebooks, each containing one or more sections. You can use these notebooks right away or close them and create your own. Remember, OneNote can be organized any way that suits you. To close a notebook, with it selected, click File, then Close this notebook. Or just right-click on a notebook and choose the same, Close this notebook. Don't worry, they're only closed, not deleted. To open a closed notebook, click File, Open, Notebook. The OneNote Notebooks folder displays with the original notebook folders within it. Select the folder, then click Open. The notebook and its sections are displayed again in OneNote. You might have noticed there was an option to open a section as well. This is true. Under the File menu, you can open a section directly without opening a notebook. Sections are files that end with the extension .one and typically are located within a notebook folder. When opened, the section displays without its associated notebook. To close a section, right-click on its tab and choose Close. And speaking of sections, OneNote reserves a special section called Unfiled Notes to store information copied from your web browser and other programs. For instance, in Outlook, an email can be sent to OneNote. When this occurs, it's stored in the Unfiled Notes section. This section is also useful when you want to add notes in a hurry. You can always copy and paste or drag them elsewhere in OneNote later. That should give you a better understanding of how OneNote folders and sections work. In a separate clip, we'll begin to organize our OneNote by creating new folders and sections.